we worked with them to be able to provide us the data for that express pass printer. Um, I think you'd want to do the same thing. So if you're using a full book, you've got kind of the same automated capability as, uh, as you would get from DIMS. Um, okay, so um, uh, that is uh, for, for in person. Now, what are some of the other uses? Um, you know, typically what people will do is, you know, I, I, I need, um, again, assuming that we've gotten rid of all of the pre-printed ballots. So where else do I need ballots? Um, well, again, I know you've got a vendor for mailing. Do they do your supplementals right now as well? Okay, so they'll do the bulk of that, but there might be those occasionals that you need to do in-house. Um, or nursing home ballots, or you know, a variety of different reasons where you need to get a ballot um, as you're going along. Again, rather than having those pre-printed, um, you can have the system do it. Now, when you're in that mode, the, the system's able to either have you manually, so if you see a quick ballot, you can print in the ballot style, um, and, um, and print that ballot out. Um, and you do have an ability to put in that number if you want to do it manually. We also have the ability to uh, do it in batch. So you can say, okay, I need 10 of each of these different ballot styles because I'm going out to this particular area. It will print those out in a batch. Um, or again, you can actually do a spreadsheet. So, so a lot of folks, people do it for provisionals or something like that where they say, I want several of all 100 ballot styles or whatever it may be. It will print those out, and we also have the ability to put cover pages in between. So if you're printing ballots out that you're doing for emergency ballots or sending them out to a location, it'll say this is ballot style 100. Uh, there's you know 10 of them here, uh, and it just helps with the with the batch management process. So pretty much any kind of need that you've got for a ballot, we would have an ability to print it, um, and we'd be able to report on it as well. So within the system, we have a concept of jobs. Uh, if if you want to use it this way, that says all right. I'm printing, you know, walk-up ballots, um, but also if I'm printing um, provisionals, I would have a job called provisionals. Now, you would just type it in, but at the end of the day or the end of the elections, it would be able to tell you. You printed, you know, 570 provisionals, you printed 200 nursing home ballots, whatever that may be. So you can use the system to print those ballots, but you can also use a system to account for it if that's, if that's important to you. So it really kind of depends on how you, how you choose to use it. Um, but again, I think the, the goal at the end of the day um, again, it's two things. One, there's a cost savings aspect to it because you're not pre-ordering and throwing away. And then there's just a you know, convenience, ease of use, um, as well as a, a labor component to it. And then you throw on top of that the accuracy of being sure that you're pulling the right one. And I can imagine with the number of, of uh, different styles that you have, you know, one, it's, it's a chore to go find it, and I'm sure you've got some kind of process to make sure somebody pulls it, somebody double checks to make sure that you got the right ballot. This kind of eliminates having to do that uh, and ensures that the right ballot gets to the right person. So that is the Balatar in a nutshell as far as uh, what it does, how it does it, and what benefit it may give to you. Any any other questions? What size, um, so the, as far as ballot stock, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's big enough to hold our biggest ballot with the stuff, no. It, it, it is, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way, the, the um, this particular printer, and just so you know, um, there, there's a limited number of, of printers that are able to do this. So, uh, Oki Data is kind of the, the gold standard in, in printing systems. Uh, and what we use is this Oki printer, but there's actually special firmware in here that lets it go up to 19 inches. If you were to try and buy this printer off the shelf, it only does 14 inches. So there's firmware that lets it go up to 19, um, and a special tray that we have to do that. So it will do it will automatically duplex up to. 19 inches total. Now that's with the stuff. And this is a 19 inch ballot right here. Right? Yeah, or 17 with two one inch stubs. Okay, 17 with two. All right. Yep. Yep. <coughs> but yeah, that's the max length that'll, of a ballot that'll do plus. Correct. So, um, <coughs> and again, this has been designed, it, it, it handles the thicker stock that you use for ballots. Um, it's got um, some heat settings in there to make sure that the, the toner fuses on there so it doesn't flake when it runs through your 850. And it also is, is designed to hold uh, tolerances. It's a graphics printer, so it'll keep a line. Um, so when you're printing ballots, you don't have to worry about them not reading properly on your, on your uh, scanners, where quite frankly, just trying to get off the shelf printers, it, it's, uh, it's a crapshoot. It's, it, there's no consistency in it. We've got about um, 700 of these installed out in the field, over 200 customers. So a good track record with these systems. They do a good job and they're very reliable. How fast is it? Yeah, we want to see one. Okay, one. So, so we'll go ahead and um, uh, why don't you, tell us, why don't you tell us when we've done one. So somebody walks in the door, 
and tell us when you, he's going to move a file over. Pretend like he's moving a file over. Okay, so check him in. The file drops from Dems. It hits the software. So he's just finished what your operator would do. Takes a second or two for it to pull out, and then you'll hear it fire up. So on a, on a cold start, the ballot takes about 25 seconds for a, you'll see from a 17 inch two sided ballot. Now what will happen is he'll go ahead and send like a five page ballot. It doesn't take 25 seconds for each page. Once that, first, once that file has come across, you'll see the other ones just come right underneath it. So right, or I'm sorry, right behind it. So first one's 25 seconds. If you had a two or three pager, then it would be another. Uh, it prints a ballot about every uh, six to seven seconds, depending on the length. So, so now I just sent five, that, or sorry, yeah, here's like a five page. Now it is a color printer, but I don't think you use color here, correct? So you can turn the color off on it, and that way all you're using is the, the black and silvers. So you got first one, but you'll see that the other one's come. It's already right in it. They don't use election word now, right? There. They, yeah. No, they are or election, election word. Okay, so you guys are kind of familiar with ballot. And again, the data at the bottom of this is. Um, you, you can. This tray is limited to 14 inches. If you go over 14, you have to use the bottom tray. Um, you get about 300 sheets. It's about that big. Um, so you know you don't have to you don't have to load too often. Um, you know uh, it's a printer and it never ever ever jams. No, that's not true. Um, you know it, it is a printer, so it will jam from time to time, um, just as any printer will. But but one and again, it is fairly reliable. The other thing is it's it's pretty open to get into. So um, again, we try to look for printers that are. Um, you know, easy to use because again, a lot of these are actually early voting sites. For example, in Florida, where these are rolled out to to uh, the um, off-site early voting, where you've got the poll workers and the precinct election officials. So uh, we've had really, really good success with this. If you're going to be using it in the office with full-time folks, then um, uh, we found it's worked really well. Really well. I had a question. Yes. If um, if the thing breaks, do we call in a local repairman to fix it because it's just a just a printer. Frank comes actually. <laughs> or actually, for us, it comes. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> um, so we have, you know, we have a couple of different service plans um, that, that, that we can go through. The contract has our our click plan, where basically, um, you know, you pay for each ballot that's printed, which covers your consumables and also covers all your service. Um, and if you have a need, you would call us, and one of our folks would come out. So in in, in Ohio, we've got. Three full time. What do we have for technicians? Yeah, yeah. There's three here in Ohio, um, and we do have some other neighboring counties like we got Geauga and Ashtabula up here, Portage. Yeah. Uh, so right now there's this is in what 46, 48, 48 counties. Um, so bottom line is long answer to your right, short, the short question. Answer is you're going to call us and we're going to yeah. come out and fix it. And worst case, Mike. I mean, if we can't, we can overnight get one of these. You know, too. You know, right. there's some places where we do do that. If the, if the technician is not available for, you know. Yeah. You know. No, you go ahead. I was just going to say, normally, again, in Ohio, because we've got a, a good critical mass of folks, we'd have people. Um, but the other thing is, is I, you know, we would never recommend it, particularly with some of your size, just one unit. So normally, you know, I don't know how many you would have, but I'm guessing it would probably be in a three to four neighborhood, and we'd have to talk about volumes. So if one were to go down, Again, you would have the other units that you could use. What will happen is the software will actually automatically redirect. So if you've got this printer for somebody at these two check-in stations, even if somebody wants to go change the toner, as an example, and there's a line of people and this isn't working, the, our software knows that that printer's unavailable to print, whether it's down or whether somebody's fiddling with it. It will automatically direct it to another printer and print it. So if it happens to go down for a long period of time, then it'll just shift over to another printer until we can come out. Question on on toner. So, and I know it's hard because it it depends on how big the ballot is and all that. But I mean, the way we lay out our ballots, there is a lot of gray shading. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So I guess, uh, I don't know what typical would be, but what kind of page throughput can you put before your toner runs out and you have to replace that? Um, all right, so I'll give you a couple answers to that. One, as far as just yields of toners and how often you've got to replace a black, um, it's probably going to be roughly 2,500 to 3,000 duplex yeah. ballasts, depending on the length and, and the coverage. So that's how frequently somebody has to open the cover and change it. But as far as how often you have to go out and buy it and what the cost of it is, again, within the state contract, um, we have our, our click charge plan. So basically, you know, there's actually nine different consumables in here, and they vary from 3,000 to 30,000 in usage. With our click charge plan, um, you don't have to pay for toners, you don't have to play, pay for drums, you don't have to worry about ordering them. Um, you basically pay us 35 cents a ballot uh, for all of the consumables. You buy the stock at 10 cents a piece. Um, and it doesn't really matter what the length of the ballot is, what the coverage of the ballot is, you pay a flat price um, for that. So um, just, just so you know, if, if you're looking to kind of understand costs and things like that, it's a, it's a pretty fixed cost. 35 cents plus 10 cents? Yeah, so it's 45 cents a ballot. Can we talk about a little bit about um, like the setup fee too? Because I know we've done, originally when this came out, we did a whole cost benefit analysis. And I think that where it really became, you know, only a certain elect, like our presidential primary was the only time that we were, you know, maybe saving money because um, I understand there to be a price per PDF fee when you're setting up your ballot. And we, you know, we talked a lot about today that we have, you know, thousands of ballot styles mm -hmm. that are multiple pages. 